Our world is full of characters. We root for and against them. They can cheer us up or make us weep. They capture us with song and plot, but there's more than this world by an awful lot. Across our worlds, these characters can be broken down to very similar components. Their basic defining qualities are all the same, but their lives, motivations, and reputations can be vastly contrasting. Journey with me as we design the heroes and villains of the Disney multiverse. Today we'll be searching every four town concert in search of the one and only Maylin Lee. Maylin Lee is a confident, dorky young teenager torn between staying her mother's obedient daughter and discovering who and what she really is. As we all know, all characters in the Disney multiverse have a singular defining characteristic or event shared among variants, and Maylin Lee is no exception. Every Maylin in the known multiverse is a descendant of Sun Yi, therefore has the ability to turn into an enlarged red panda, though the control of this power varies. In our world, Mei stops her mom during panda apocalypse and embraces her panda. From there, she changes all the time and is loved for it. There is a world, however, where Mei went back to her roots of why the panda was blessed to her lineage in the first place. Our first stop is Earth 25. After Mei Lin Li stopped panda apocalypse, she and her mom had a long discussion of how to move forward. Ming had her panda trapped at a Tamagotchi, while Mei decided to not only accept her panda self, but to honor her ancestors and use it for its initial purpose, to protect her family and community. Her mother was a little skeptical, but eventually agreed on the conditions that she keep her identity a secret and keep the panda in check. Ming designed Mei her heroic outfit, paying homage to their culture while adding in a few modern Mei Lin touches. Toronto now had its protector, a confident and compassionate 13 year old girl with the strength of a god level giant red panda.
Earth-25 May is able to fully control the panda and protect her people, but there is a world nearly exactly opposite. Now we travel to Earth-2202, where this Jekyll and Hyde situation becomes quite intense. Malin Lee's mother, Ming, had a mutated panda gene, explaining why her panda was so much different than the others. She was gigantic and full of rage. She went on a rampage of mass destruction, better known as Pandapocalypse. As May grew up, she would eventually come to learn that she inherited the mutated panda gene. The first few times of turning red, May was in full control. But as she turned more frequently and stayed in her panda form longer, the beast developed a mind of its own. It started out small, primitive and intrusive thoughts took over. Small accidents happened. She caused someone to trip. She dented a car. These events are things May now has to look at and live with. She has to come to grasp that she is slowly losing control and there is physical proof in front of her that damage is being done. The strong fear she has for her panda causes it to come out again and wreak more havoc. Again and again and again. The tipping point was when she turned back into her panda self and was standing next to two mauled bodies. Her parents. The stress is killing her. She is losing her hair, losing sleep, losing sanity. May comes to the conclusion that she must become the most blank slate of a person, showing zero emotion to hold back the beast. She must give up all fun and exciting clothing. No more friends, no fort town. She will not simply become boring, she will become nothing. If you have any suggestions for other characters we should explore throughout the multiverse, let me know. 
But that'll be it for today, guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again when we next design the heroes and villains of the Disney multiverse. See you guys later.